And welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I have a more interesting topic to touch on. Today's video isn't going to be like normal videos. It's going to be an informational video on a TV show that's very, very popular called The Simpsons. Um, and yeah, so today it's going to be a video that is that they don't they they only say once in The Simpsons. Um. It's practically a secret because they only talk about it once. And that's in a flashback episode. Well, not a flashback episode, like m musical one that they've done in the past, but like um, one where they tell stories and stuff. Um, it's uh, where the Simpsons get trapped in a tunnel and um, Lisa tells Homer um, Lisa is Homer's daughter, uh, and she tells him the secrets, um, well, not secrets, um, she tells him stories, um, and one story goes into another, so ultimately there's a bunch of stories in one episode. It's a very interesting episode to, to watch. Um, there's multiple points of views, and uh, it's, yeah, it's really good. But with that being said, um, I'm going to tell you guys, so it's... Um, so today's video is going to touch more on, um, Mo, the bartender. Um, he is at, he works, he's the owner of Homer's favorite bar. He's a depressed man, um, who, he's not, like, he's, pers like, in the show, they, um, he's always very, um, known as very an ugly man. And um, a man who annually on Christmas uh, has a failed suicide attempt where he normally uh, either fails or chickens out on. Um, so there's, yeah, but uh, I've seen every single episode of The Simpsons. Uh, I watched it a lot. So yeah, let's get into it. So for today's video, I'm going to be discussing how Mo, the bartender, turned another character that you see a lot. His name's Snape. Um, or no, Snake. I think it's Snake. I don't know. Something like Snake. I can't quite remember though. But what happened was um, Snake is always in prison because he is known for robbing stores. Um, most commonly the Quickie Mart, the store that Apu the um so apu is um owns the quickie mart well co-owns with his either brother or cousin i can't remember so yeah he co-owns the quickie mart but um so yeah so snake is constantly robbing the quickie mart and going to jail he's always in jail um most of the time he's in jail when he's not in jail he's robbing most likely the quickie mart well, he wasn't always like this. In fact, once he was a civil man. Um, he was a regular guy, but Mo changed that all. He was a man, I think, um, I can't remember, something like a historian or something. Um, but he can't, uh, one second. <clears throat> so yeah, so basically, he came into Moe's with gold. I can't remember why. There was a bunch of gold that could make someone rich. Extremely rich. I think there's a lot of it for sure. Mo, however, spent all that gold on. Well, well, let's just, I'm gonna actually talk about what happened before that. So Snake actually showed him the gold. Then, um, for some reason, he had like a story with it. Then, what happened after that was um, Snake went to his apartment. Well, or motel. Nothing fancy though. Then, Mo came into that hotel. Mo came in, sorry about the background noise by the way guys. So Mo came in to this place because he knew of the gold and he robbed Snake. So, then Snake was like, 
I'm gonna take this out on like, you know, on the town. He, um, and he was like, I'm not, now I'm gonna start robbing things. That is how Snake became bad. And why Mo is behind it. Now, I'm gonna continue the story with how Snake sees the gold again. But is still a criminal. Fast forward to back where they're telling the stories. The, the reason they, the reason Lisa started telling stories there was because they got trapped in the bottom of a tunnel searching for this gold. So there was a, um, so Mr. Burns, which is Homer's boss, one of the richest Simpsons characters in the, in the franchise, in the, he's one of the richest and he is basically um so he went he was broke because of his scavenger hunt he went broke because him he and um it's like uh it's a guy named it's a guy from the he's a he's a very like it's a commonly he's a commonly known character so you'd know him um from a description, he's a cowboy guy. He carries two guns, and he's always shooting them in the air and saying ridiculous things. Well, he was the one who beat Mr. Burns in the scavenger hunt. And after he beat Mr. Burns, the deal was is that whoever won got every single thing that that other person owned, which is dumb since they're both really rich in their own way. And um, they're both really rich. Mr. Burns being a little richer though, from what I know. Um, they're both like billionaires though, so. Then, Mr. Burns reads, um, finds a letter that Mo left under his, um, he got, he had like um, a jar of aging eggs and it was under it. He said, if I die, if uh, you, you're reading this letter, I am dead, Mo said. Well, the letter stated and said where all this gold was that Mo stole. Um, and yeah, so then after that, Mr. Burns got a hold of it. The Mr. Burns was working for Mo because of he, he was broke. So he needed to have a job at Mo's to survive. Well, after he got this job, he found that. He found the gold and he handed it in um, to the guy that, you know, stole his, well, not stole, but won the scavenger hunt. Now, he didn't just want the gold for everything with his back. The one thing that Burns didn't get back was his source of money the the nuclear plant now the nuclear plant is where homer works homer is one of the main characters lisa bart lisa and bart and maggie's dad and marge simpson's husband well after you know after all that happened what he wanted was the last thing on the scavenger hunt that burns wasn't able to get now burns is an awful man Remember that. The one thing that Burns didn't get was a picture with a smiling child. Now, this man who was gonna give Burns back his life, his estate, one second. Okay, and so then, after that, Burns saved, well, thought he saved Lisa's life from, well, it was like a ram, I think it was. Had like those horns, it looked like a goat and a ram to get combined, I'm not sure what it's called though. After that, uh, he thought he was saving Lisa's life, but the ram just wanted to return something to Lisa. But nonetheless, the ram rammed into Burns Injuring him, not fatally though, just, you know, funny injury. 
like slammed him against something. Okay, so after that, after Burns saved Lisa, he took a picture with Lisa. Lisa was like, I wanna have, I wanna take a picture with the man who saved me, with the hero who saved me. Well, that picture was on a Polaroid, I think. I'm not sure, it was a long time ago. Well, he took the picture, he took the picture, right? After the picture, Burns realized Lisa was smiling. Turned it, in, turned it into the guy and well, he got his his main source of money, the power plant back. Well, the nuclear plant. Then, what happened was Homer discovered, so Homer, they were trapped in a cave, right? And, you know, Homer brought them to the cave. Well, the reason Homer brought them to the cave, because that, the man, it, the man with the two guns, you know, the one that, um, beat Burns in the scavenger hunt, then taking all his money and stuff. He hid the gold that Burns gave him in this exact tunnel. And Homer was there to see it. So then Homer realized how big the tunnel was and that he couldn't find the gold alone. Well, then after that, the, um, after that, then, um, he got his family. And he wanted to get a little artifact for his desk, so he tried to take something, and there was this big thing. It was like, you know how there's those huge, um, what are they called? Icic icicles? But, like, humongous? Imagine that. Imagine like one of the biggest ones in the world times like 10. That was as big as the artifact was, but he just wanted a little piece of the end. It all collapsed, forming a big hole that the Simpsons were standing on, leading them to like, kind of like a slide, but made out of tunnel, made out of the tunnel, like a natural one. Then after that, after um, they went in there, they were stuck. Well, then this is when the stories were all being told. And the, the four men involved in this, the guy with the two guns, one that's, that one beat Burns and stole his money, or at least just beat Burns and got everything that Burns owned. Um, and then, Burns. And then you have Snake, the robber, who was stolen, who originally owned the gold and had it stolen from him. So he turned into a prisoner. Well, he decided that he wanted to get back at society and all for robbing him. Then there was also Mo who well, stole the gold in the first place and hid it. Well, not really hid it, but wasted it all on a um, machine that he owned, that he had, um, the one that Burns got it from. That was a dumb move of me in this. Um, and then they all came with guns, except for Mo, obviously. Mo was like, oh, you guys have guns? Um, and then the snake and then what happens is marge homer's wife the mom of the like the, the main one of the main characters the mom of bart and lisa maggie and wife of homer obviously got involved and she was like stop it this money is turning you guys insane um and basically after that she kind of just she just threw it down. Ended in the men realizing how insane they were for everything that has happened. 
except for Burns, who tried to climb down into like this humongous, never-ending pit to get the gold and say, yeah, yeah, I'll meet up with you guys later because they were all going to like a bar or something. I don't know. <laughs> then that is how the story ends, and that is how I made it a little longer of a video just because I figured, you know, why not tell the entire story? Um, I'm missing out on a couple details, but they're not they're not important details. So yeah, that is the story about how Snake turned bad and how it's all Moe's fault. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope I see you in the next one. Um, consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this, if you enjoy my content or this video. And uh, yeah, comment down below if you have any videos that you want me to make. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.